our shop. This is place that will be fun. And it's time to get the kid go back to my childhood slash early adulthood to review a movie which I watched back then. It's a bad habit of mine. Instead of doing a lot of that, I should be reviewing more movies which I haven't seen before. I am missing out by not doing that. Since I'm sure there are a lot of great movies that came before my time. Anyway, today I will be reviewing The Guardian. So, this movie is basically about people who save people's lives who are at walking sea and have to deal with a strong wind. Personally, I found that concept very interesting. Now the first character I'm going to talk about is Ben Randall, played by Kevin Costner. Now Kevin Costner is a fucking fantastic actor, absolutely one of the best actors of all time. He almost never disappoints. I'm saying almost because he wasn't good in Waterworld, but that's a shitty move, so it, it's it's his fault. So yeah, I know that they don't do the three characters format as often as they used to. In fact, a lot of the times I only could talk about two characters instead of three like I normally do. I mean, I saw just talk about three characters, but it's not really the default anymore. I talk about just two characters or not at all. About as much nowadays as I talk about three characters. And honestly, this is a review where I'm just going to talk about two fucking characters. Starting with Ben Randall, played by Kevin Costner. Now, he is basically someone who has been saving lives from a helicopter for the longest time. And he is a teacher. Now, he's a strict teacher and pushes people to their limits. But I have to say, though, he's a damn good teacher. Now, although I think this is a great movie, there are still several problems with it that I have to address. No worries, even my favorite movies have those. Anyway, one big problem that I have with the movie is that by the very fucking beginning of the movie, we see his wife leaving him. And the moving truck is already outside. That's really a problem because we are never given any context on who the hell his wife even is. Or any of that. It's just fucking thrown at us that she is leaving him. I personally think this would be a better movie if it spent at least 20 fucking minutes introducing his wife. I get it's not that important to the movie and there is nothing in the movie worth cutting out since it's all important stuff. And adding minutes to its runtime would make the movie unnecessarily long. But this is still a problem that I have with it. But it's a minor one, sure, one which I can easily overlook. I just wish I knew more about this fucking vibe, that's all I'm saying. But yeah, he's a great fucking teacher. Now I'm gonna talk about Jake Fisher, played by Ashton Kutcher. I'm gonna have to be honest with you guys, I am not a fan of this character at all. Some of you might be wondering, why is that? What's the issue? Well, it's just a naive young man. That's it, he's a naive young man. There really isn't much to him. I will admit that I find him slightly interesting. And he's the boring character or anything like that. But I still didn't care about him that much. Ben Hunter is fucking awesome and I cared about that character a lot. But as for this character, yeah, didn't really fucking care about. Again, he isn't boring but he is still very uninteresting. And bear in mind that there is a difference between the two. Now then, what I really fucking love about this movie is the fucking tension. There was a high chance that anybody in the school could have fucking failed. In fact, many people did fail. And I wanted all of the fucking students to succeed. And seeing them fail the class and being kicked out of the school, yeah, it was never a fucking good feeling at all. It's also fucking scary how easily they could die when they actually graduate and have to save some fucking lives. A lot of things could go wrong. Personally, I don't see this as a movie in a fictional setting which ignores the rules of reality. I mean, the characters are entirely fictional. There is no doubt in my mind about that. But I think this movie is very much in fucking reality. Everything that happens in the movie is to which I can easily imagine happening in real life. There's nothing silly about this movie or anything like that. It's very fucking realistic. And honestly, that's what I like about it. Because that builds real fucking tension. Now it's time for my overall thought. I will admit, there are two problems I addressed with the movie in this review. But these problems are only very fucking minor and can easily let them slide. The first thing, I can let slide because it wasn't even the main focus of the fucking movie. And therefore, Jack face is not been very interesting. Honestly, I don't mind that since he is the main character, but Randall is, and he is a very great and interesting character. So you know what, I'm gonna give this movie rating two thumbs up. But I really have to cut out on the bad fucking habit of always going back to my 
childhood slash early adulthood when reviewing old movies. I should definitely learn to look fucking deeper into the more old movies that came before my time. Both that as well as movies that were out when I was a kid slash teenager slash early adult. But I didn't see the movie at the time or was even aware of it. I'm sure that many movies from the 2000s exist that are like that. Yeah, honestly, I have to cut down on that bad fucking habit and look deep to find some great moves from the past, which I haven't even seen or held, might not even be aware of. Anyway, people, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. You have a fantastic day.